All right, well, this is uh, <coughs> frame nine. The queen is out of there. This was, uh, there she is right there. And they've accepted her. Now this was a uh, um, laying worker hive. But anyway, let me get this back in there. I don't know if she started laying yet. I'm sure she has. But uh, I'm going to look in just a minute. Just to confirm. All right. Well, this is, was a laying worker box. And it was one of my uh, stronger highs. I've already pulled the honey off of it. It's uh, September the 9th now. And um, I'm getting them ready for the winter. <coughs> but um, when they had laying worker or workers in there, laying a, <coughs> laying a lot of that spotty brown root, there was no question it was a laying worker. So I waited a while. It had a lot of bees in it. There's still a good many bees in there. I don't know if you can see down, yeah, between the frames. But uh, still a good many bees, even though they've been queenless for, I'd say, about three months. There's still a lot of bees in there. So I waited, and I hadn't had time to check, check these like I normally would. So I just figured I'd wait and see uh, what would happen rather than going out there and shaking them and losing 30, 40% or more of them. But I got a queen yesterday and I normally would have bred my own, but um, I hadn't had time to come down here and do that. And then when I did bring my, breed my own, by the time I got down here, the box was doing so well on its own. I kind of hated to mess with it, so I went ahead and got a queen. And uh, I just pulled her out of here, which came with some uh, attendant bees. They're still in there. And I think they're going to uh, mesh in here because when I first pulled the queen cage out and I set it over there, I set it on the corner here with the attendant bees. And uh, some of the other bees started walking over and looked like they're getting along. So right here, I don't see any sort of activity. It makes me think that uh, they're not ready for a queen. Now, by the way, one thing to note, uh, when I opened this up the last time, there was no more drone brood. So it appears that the laying workers quit laying. Maybe they just got tired and figured, well, that's not working. There is a reasonably or a large amount of drones in the box. But uh, I think when she starts laying, they'll do what they always do and slowly get rid of them. So I don't hear any piping sounds before uh, before they came over with the lawnmower and started mowing anyway. I listen real close and I don't see any uh, uh, aggressive activity it all looks like they're trying to get in there and feed her. So rather than try to turn her loose mm -hmm. out of the cage, just in case I've got one or two nasties in there who smell that queen and think they're still uh, laying workers, I'm gonna leave her in that cage and set her down in the center of the box in between the two frames and uh, just let her start, uh, well those Worker bees will eat that, uh, you know, that end right there has a candy plug in it. They'll eat that out of there, probably take them two or three days, maybe. And they'll go ahead and let her out. And by the time they let her out of there, I'm sure with the pheromones and all that, they'll, uh, I think she'll be safe. Well, it's worth 25 bucks to me just to figure it out. Uh, there's the strips for the mites. AP, AP bar. I think crap but anyway that's the uh, that's not the natural uh, time product time product that's the other one because I lost too many bees last year not treating them like I should you know 
So this year they're gonna get a regular treatment. Next year I'll move to something else, but that right there, they look like they're just plain happy. Uh, don't hear any piping, zzz, 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 you know? Don't see any aggressive activity. They all look like they're just trying to get in there and feed and groom the, the queen. So what I'm gonna do, I don't have my tripod down there, I'm just doing this on my cell phone. So what I'm gonna do is uh, pull two frames out and uh, and then run a little wire through that box and drop it down in there. She's the only queen in there, or the only bee in that box. And uh, we'll give the box, so I'd say a week, week or so, and then I'll come down here and look and see if we got some uh, uh, larva. And uh, won't quite, won't quite, quite have any cat brood, but there should be a good many larvae in between those two frames, possibly more. Uh, so anyway, that is a laying worker hive that didn't get trashed. Like I said. There's plenty of bees in there, and uh, I didn't see any reason to go out there and shake them out. Number one, they did pretty good on the honey since they weren't raising brood, and uh, they, uh, but they're not heavy. They're not near as many bees as the rest of my box. So if she'll come out of there and start laying good, I may. We still have a little flow here. Uh, golden rods blooming second time I can see it over there across the river and uh, there's a couple of different varieties of uh, bees everybody else seems to be working uh, in all directions so they're not all coming from one direction and I've been looking at the pollen there's at least three different colors of pollen coming in right now and uh, not near as much work going on as normal. You know, this box right here has got a lot of bees in it, but they're doing a lot of cleanup. Moving the old bees out since I got in the boxes the other day seemed to have stimulated them to get out there and really start getting things in order. But uh, this box here, this one's loaded with bees too. I've never seen so many bees in a box as uh, this box here. But you couldn't tell it just looking at the front front step. It's overcast, but it's 1.30 in the afternoon. And uh, that's a pretty good shape box. That's a pretty good shape box there, number one. It's uh, that's got a bunch of bees in it. You'd think that was a dead out. But there's a lot of bees in there too. This is a starter hive, the one I was telling you about. I started the queen on. But, uh, and they were doing pretty well on their own. So I decided I would, uh, not a whole lot of activity in the supers because there's not a whole lot of flow, but they're still bringing it in. So I can see a lot of nectar and they're still working on it. So I'm not gonna start feeding them yet, but uh, back to the queen. So there's a laying worker box. Now, if I had to do it all over again, what would I do? don't know but I wouldn't go out there and just shake them out and lose a bunch of bees um, I've got the extra nukes over there that I'm not using normally they're full uh, from you know full of bees from making uh, making new hives and nukes off these other uh, colonies I just didn't have the time this year I had too much going on so uh, I guess I would take like two frame two frame two frame two frame two frame split them up between those boxes over there and the boxes that I didn't have uh, uh, drone brood in or brood any kind of brood for that matter because I know there's nothing there's no queen there I might combine them back into one box and uh, imagine they would take a queen a whole lot better say maybe close the box up and leave it you know for a day maybe two and then introduce queen just like I'm doing here I bet you they would have took it and then combine the boxes with the queen uh, or without the that have I'm sorry combine the boxes that have the laying workers and just let them fend on their own for a while and uh, seems to seems to be at least in this particular case 
Um, they realize that laying worker and drone brew doesn't cut the mustard. I don't believe the drones are going out and collecting honey. So maybe they just figured, well, that's kind of a lost cause. I don't, Box hadn't absconded or left. Um, <coughs> I think it's just been a slow die out, you know, of the bees as they're going out working, but they did bring in a lot of honey. So here's your reward. Give you a queen and it looks fine to me. I don't see any kind of aggressive activity whatsoever. Don't hear any either. So anyway, uh, working layer box. Uh, don't have a tripod, otherwise I'd pull the frames out and I'd show you. Uh, there's plenty of, well, there's no capped uh, drone brood in anymore, but you can see the signs of it. So anyway, uh, you know, don't consider your box as done because I don't think, I'm sure I wouldn't, I'm sure I didn't lose any more bees doing it this way. And this hive, I'm pretty sure is going to recover. We'll see. And if she starts laying good, and I get a good many uh, bees in there, this box will easily last uh, the winter. They're getting treated right now for get rid of some mites. I did a mite count uh, on about half of the boxes, about every other one. And they were all in the, uh, I'd say, uh, looking for a nine count, which would be 3%. That would be, go ahead and treat them right now. They were all between, say, five, and nine if there's five mites in there I'm treating anyway because I didn't treat and I lost a crap load of bees I had 11 boxes last year and ended up with three came through the winter and only one of those or two of those lasted and those queens were actually queens that I raised here and uh, they did very very well this year in fact here's one of them and the other ones in box one so anyway cheers but don't don't think that uh, you've lost a whole hive if you have laying workers. Just give them some time, see if it see if they'll do the same thing this one does.